personal, personal. Stay for a while. This beautiful moment. Giving you the best of me, my baby. Oh, I let it go. Oh, giving you the best of me, my baby. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Uh, let me pause this for a second. Oh boy, that was my grandbaby. You know, my day ain't on nerves. Anyway, I just want y'all to know today this is very serious. Um, because I'm not, I'm I'm really uh, black people. This 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 message is specifically for you. Um, but anybody can listen to it. I mean, but. I spend the majority of my time around black people now. Um, and that wasn't always the case, but it certainly is now. And this is something that I always felt, but I, I feel it even a little stronger now. Is like, I'm not with the shits. And none of us should be. It should be appalling to us. It, whoever it is. It should be disrespectful, vile, inhumane of us to know that a crime has been perpetrated. I don't give a dang on what color the, the, the perpetrator is. Um, and I don't give a damn that it's hard on us. Yes, it's hard on us. It's been hard on us since we uh, had to take on the road of a chattel slave. It never got easy. And every day, you have every generation got to pay its price. It's got to pay its own dues when it comes to this liberation thing. Okay? But the first thing and the first ones you got to liberate is your damn self. You got to free your mind so your ass can follow. Okay, and what I'm getting sick and tired of, because, like I said before, religion is the opium of the people, and be I know it's because we spent so much time together. I know we got a love-hate relationship with one another, but it's a, it's almost a feeling. You know how when you can talk about your family member, but bet nobody else say nothing about them, or you might beat your sister or brother's ass, but you don't want no one else to do that, because then they're going to have a problem with the rest of y'all, right? Okay. I can get that. I get that logic. What I don't understand is how we cover up and mask for people that we respect or love in our community and they do something wrong and they do something hideous or they commit some freaking crime and then we try to act as if the shit don't happen as if they got some magical uh, gift uh, from the Lord, or um, they they get some a pass. They get some pass for their they get a pass for their bull crap. There's a hierarchy to this stuff. It always is, and shit runs downstream. So when you figure out and when you think about whether and you know, and I know y'all mad at me because you're already mad at me about the video about uh, Master Farrar, but I had to do it. I had to do it. And I and to purge myself, I ain't even thinking about what y'all think now, because I'm too old for that. But I know that that has been a detrimental to myself and a whole bunch of other people, how we felt about Malcolm X being killed, that grew up in the nation, that are finally recovering from that. And we couldn't recover, we couldn't heal. Because don't nobody want to talk about it out of fear or out of, oh, you know, you better not say that. Let it go. By God, be by God. To hell with that. Um, he, he left babies that are hurting. Okay? 
I know what it feels like to have a family member murdered. How many of y'all know what that feels like? And I don't give a damn what somebody say about, oh, don't say nothing about because he killed your brother or he killed your sister. Hell with them. I don't give a damn if you find out 20 or 30 or 40 years from now what happened to my brother or my sister. I want them, the person that did harm to them to be brought to some type of damn justice. And I definitely don't want people running around here um, acting like their bad behavior don't matter because of who they are. You know, and what, what, what comes to mind for me is how everybody want to give people in the Nation of Islam a pass. They want to give everybody in the church house a pass. How are you going to give Eddie Long a pass? Okay? Jimmy Swagger's ass. Okay? I ain't even talking about Jimmy Swagger right now. I'm talking about, because this is for black folk. Okay? And I know Jimmy Swagger used to come and get the bus and come and get all the kids from Louisiana in the summertime and take them on trips. I'm not, those are the good things. I can remember the good things from the Nation of Islam, our white and fish and our steak and take restaurants and up, up salam restaurants. and uh, I, I mean, I can remember all the good things and all the ways that it left, lifted me out of mental bondage. But I also don't want to condone and act like it don't matter to me when somebody get killed and get come out because uh, they didn't want the rest of the world to know. See, that? I mean, that's black madness. Instead of us letting him eat his just due for doing what he did, I'm speaking of Elijah Muhammad, we're going to kill him, Malcolm, for bringing it up. Warwick D, whoever, Wallace D, whoever brought it up. But, but they are the ones who are, are mistreated because of it. Those are the ones that say, well, he shouldn't have said that. Oh, well, you know. Uh, uh. And then when I listen to a speech, if we did to him, Malcolm, what the United States does to her traitors, whose business is that of yours? What we do to her, how dare you say something so vile? And evil. And I'm talking about Louis X, a man that I love. How dare you say something so vile? All the stuff I overlooked in my life, it's like it's all pouring out and running out like a mighty stream for some reason. But I know one thing. They took away our prints. And to, to minimize that and act as if his words of honesty was worthy of his death because you want to defend a pedophile, an adulterer, all the things that are wrong in America, all the things that are illegal in America, but I'm supposed to overlook it now. Because it was Elijah Muhammad. I'm supposed to overlook it now. My father did a lot of wrong things. I, I'm not going to overlook him because he was my daddy. I feel That's not going to stop me from loving him. But brother, you was wrong. And I'm going to hold your feet to the fire. And that's how we should feel about anything. We shouldn't have nobody running around in our community who we know that's done, done hideous and vile things and they still running around like William Branford was allowed to do. Or like some of y'all sons who y'all know that committed some really hideous crimes against us. Because see, they ain't going to take it out on the white man who they really mad at. They're going to do it to us. And they have a long history of abusing and taking out their frustration on us, other black folk. But they're not going to the white man with that. They protected him. The way he protects his own. 
but you got smoke for us. Those that are from the same ilk and cloth and the neighborhoods and that you from. So you know different. You know different. If you have a hit squad and all they're doing is hitting black folk, how are you different than the police? How? If you got an underground organization and when shit don't go your way or when things are, excuse my language, but I'm mad. Things don't go your way or somebody uh, exposes some of your deviousness and you get mad. Instead of getting mad at yourself for committing the acts, you get mad at the people for exposing you. Which is what happens in our community all the time and I'm really damn sick of it. Sick of y'all hiding y'all sons from the murders and the hideous acts they commit and your daughters. And let alone your damn preachers and imams. If they out here doing dirt undercover or they have a group of people that are so loyal that they'll do dirt for them and they co-sign it, well, this message is for them as well. It's for you too. I hate what happened back in 1965. And I know it was a long time ago to some of y'all because some of y'all wasn't even born. But there's some of us that are still affected. And that's what I mean by time, y'all. Time. Those of y'all who are living right now and think this time is, uh, uh, y'all remember, well, 20 years from now, nobody's going to remember the details but you. And it's really going to be up to you to tell the truth about the details that you know. So somebody can be free from the bondage that that trauma put on them. It's very important. I didn't want to face this. There's a lot of uh, uh, people who said vile things. One thing I'm not going to disrespect the work of these people. But there are some people that have said some things that I found very distasteful. Uh, about the nation of Islam. And I would defend them almost to the death. I'm not willing to do that anymore. The only behavior I'm willing to defend to my to the death is my behavior. Because that's the only one I can really give an account for. And I will take my licking. I am. Whatever come about. I'm not from that school where, well, if you black and you do it, anything we do go because they do us so wrong that anything we do, I'm just going, no, I, I ain't getting ready to do that. Those of y'all that want to play that game, you can play it. Okay? Wrong is wrong. And I do believe in retribution. So I don't believe that white people can do all this stuff to us and don't have to pay. I, I know I don't think that. But I do think that charity begins at home and then it spreads abroad. And if we're not willing to do the work that it takes right here, then I don't think we're in no kind of position to talk about nothing that nobody do to us. Because we do it to ourselves. And I hope y'all get what I'm saying. If you don't, oh well. If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and please leave your comments. Those of y'all whose feelings are hurt, please leave your comment. Do you agree that we do that? As black people, we make excuses for our bad behavior. And then we quick to point the finger at everybody else. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of our and, and the irresponsibility of it all. Leave your comments. Let's talk about it. I'll see you in the next video.